हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा फोर्थ चैप्टर अगेन for some reason we stopped fourth chapter then went ahead with the fifth and uh, sixth uh, now we are coming back to the fourth chapter i'll explain the reason for why we stopped and also to understand um, what mood we continue to hear discuss uh, the fourth chapter of chetan charitamrita adilila so welcome back all the devotees so to give a very brief introduction for those who were not uh, there uh, when we were doing fourth chapter some devotees have joined during fifth and sixth um, we are discussing the confidential reasons for the appearance of lord chetan mahaprabhu in this chapter 4 of adilila so we all know that the lord's appearance has many reasons there are external reasons and there are internal reasons i'm not going to go in very deep into that uh, since we covered and we are going to cover during the discussion also um, external reasons uh, is basically to take away the burden of earth as krishna mentions in bhagavad gita that whenever there is a his requirement he will come and Uh, take away the burden of earth and the internal reasons there are three prominent internal reasons were discussed in this chapter one is to understand the greatness of shrimati radharani's love and number two is to understand his own sweetness and number three is to taste radharani's conjugal love the first one is to he, he was amazed Uh, how radharani is so much uh, having so much of ecstasy uh, when either she is in his company in his association or in separation also so krishna was amazed to uh, see how how radharani is enjoying so much of ecstasy so to understand the greatness of shrimad radharani is love well, that is one reason acharya has explained and to understand his own sweetness because he is not able to understand how shrimad radharani is getting so much happiness because when she is in his association so it must be there must be something uh, extraordinary quality with krishna which is giving so much of happiness and sweetness to um, radharani and gopis so he himself could not understand so that was the second reason acharya explained that to understand the sweetness his own sweetness krishna appears as chaitanya mahaprabhu number 3 is to taste radharani's conjugal love so one is to understand her emotions her greatness of her, uh, love and taste taste her conjugal love of shrimad radharani so the taste prema is the main reason and to propagate the glory holy name is a secondary reason Uh, we discussed uh, uh, in the fifth and sixth chapters how various uh, rasas 
starting from dasya sakya vatsalya santa i am not touched internationally internationally because there is no reciprocation in that so we discussed how in devotees in various moods like in mood of dasya sakya vatsalya uh, they do tell in the service of the lord in the mood of they add the dasya bhava into sakya and vatsalya and how they get happiness how they relish like we we discussed the examples of uh, nitan prabhu lord advaita acharya in chapter 5th and 6th advaita acharya is uh, uh, embodiment of uh, you know uh, dasya bhava servitude that is his main um, way of uh, um, expressing his devotion to the lord and every rasa has to have a dasya in that so that there is no tinge of sense gratification um, will arise because if we say for example if we now we are discussing we are going to discuss about madhuri bhava in this chapter so if there is only madhuri bhava without a dasya that may lead to uh, own enjoyment madhuriya uh, for my own enjoyment so we we may take a pretext of uh, uh, okay we want to please the lord but uh, we start enjoying in that uh, so that problem might come so acharya uh, explained that every rasa sakya vatsalya and even madhurya has to have a tinge of dasya into that without dasya uh, none of these uh, rasas will give uh, happiness because that might lead to our own happiness instead of giving a pleasure to krishna so the ultimate aim in all the rasas is to give pleasure to krishna which is a missing in santa santa rasa so we are just ignoring that for for time being and in madhurya bhava we discussed that there are two types of um, madhurya bhava uh, swakiya and parakiya swakiya is uh, like wedded uh, one the mood of relationship between wife and husband so can come into this but more important is parakya bhava why that is more important not that we or krishna are trying to encourage the relationship outside the uh, marriage so we need to understand what exactly is the reason why acharya says that this parakya bhava unwedded uh, is more prominent than wedded so in parakya bhava one should be deeply attached uh, to be in this mood so deeply attached means like example is like gopis of vrindavana raja raja they are so much attached to krishna they are not uh, they have their own you uh, know family you know, husband is their children are there so but still they are so much attached to krishna it doesn't mean that we have to give up our family and have a relationship towards the marriage no that is not the thing what acharya is explaining the importance is the deep attachment the way gopis have exhibited means uh, so for example when we are chanting hari krishna maha mantra we should, we should do we should do uh, this uh, chanting or even devotional service in the mood of separation like gopis it is to make us understand the ecstasy in separation lord chaitanya prabhu appeared so this is the mood in which parakya bhava uh, lord chaitanya prabhu lord chaitanya prabhu has exhibited in devotion so one should see one should chant in the mood of separation for krishna so radharani we understand that you know she is embodiment of mahabhava her mind body senses are steeped in the love for krishna and all the concerts of Ra- uh, lord are her own expansion so when we perform our devotion service we should have the mood of shrimad radharani and the mood of uh, gopis like mind body senses should be steeped in the love for krishna then we chant not chanting for just for the sake of chanting not just for the sake of 16 rounds or 32 rounds whatever prescribed rounds we have not just for the sake of uh, number 
but we have to eventually develop the mood of a separation when we chant so gopis of vrindavana radharani and other gopis they have exhibited the same quality same rasa even in absence of krishna in fact they exhibited more uh, bliss in the uh, in separation of krishna so that is a mood we as sadhakas should eventually develop that is the reason why acharya said that no the various stages in uh, devotional service like starting from shraddha to prema we should never remain at a shraddha level only so step by step when we you know elevate ourselves eventually we will reach to the stage of prema that is possible only when we do our devotional service when we chant hari krishna mantra in the mood of separation like chetama prabhu exhibited it is not artificial when he exhibited when he was taking darshana of uh, lord jagannath he fainted so many times and uh, these are not you know external artificial uh, uh, characteristics not that we have to faint that is not uh, what i'm trying to say but we eventually have to develop that mood of a separation from krishna when we eventually develop that mood we will be elevating ourselves from progressively from shraddha to prema so lord chetama prabhu's heart carries image of radharani emotions and he was mad in separation that is a quality which lord chetama prabhu expects us wants us to uh, uh, eventually reach eventually we have to get that mood when we are when we chant we should chant in the mood of separation not just for the sake of chanting so with this uh, uh, i would like to request uh, his grace divagopa prabhu to continue uh, just a one point why we stopped at uh, uh, verse 158 or 159 in the previous uh, session when we were doing this uh, chapter because i wanted uh, members to you know really understand the mood uh, of dasya sakya and vatsalya before we uh, try to understand the mood of madhurya so madhurya mood we can understand only when we understand other rasas so which we discussed in the previous chapters now we are coming back to uh, chapter 4 starting from verse 160 onwards uh, request his grace divagopur prabhu uh, those who are not yeah. aware of him he is our uh, chakra leader Uh, chakra leader for alquer maha chakra so we i was trying for uh, uh, divagopur prabhu for a long time unfortunately because of his schedule he was quite busy uh, working schedule now thanks to corona covid 19 prabhu has got some free time to share the nectar to all of us divagopur prabhu please uh, hare krishna prabhu hare thank you uh, thank you very much for the given opportunity to me uh, to you know, glorify lord chaitanya and uh, leela of uh, um, adi leela uh, 4.162 4.176 uh, given me the uh, services so before that we will start uh, mangla charan om namo bhagavate vasudevaya om namo bhagavate vasudevaya om namo bhagavate vasudevaya ृणाथाजीवन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य श्री राधा श्री राधा सगन ललिता श्री विशाखा हे कृष्णा कर्मा सिंधु दीन बंधु जगतपति गोपेशा गोपिकांतमूस्ते सप्त कांचन गौरंगे राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वाणकल्पतरूपेश कृपा सिंधु पति पावणेप्यो वैष्णवेप्यो जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद 
ಶ್ರೀಅದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸ ಹರಿ ಗೌರ ಭಕ್ತ ಹರಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರಿ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರಿ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರಿ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರಿ ಹರಿ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ ಹರಿ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರಿ ಹರಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರಿ ಹರಿ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ ಹರಿ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ ತಾಪ್ಸ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೊ ವಿಲ್ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲೋಕಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಟು ಒನ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೊವೈಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಮೀ ಅಪರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ಟು ಕ್ಲೋರಿಫೈ ದಾಗೋದ್ ಅತ್ಯಂತ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಗೋಸಾನಿ ಮಾತ್ರ ಜನೇರ ಏಕಾಂತ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ರಸ ಈಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮ್ಲಿ ಡೀಪ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ದಾಮೋದರ್ ಮೂವ್ಸ್ ಮಚ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಒನ್ ಏ ವೇಕೆಯ ಅನ್ಯ ಜಾನಿ ಸೇ ಹೋ ತಾಣ ಆಯ್ತ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಗೋಸನಾರ ತೇನ ಅತ್ಯಂತ ಮರ್ಮ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಎನಿ ಒನ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ who claims to know it must have heard it from him for he was the most intimate companion of lord chaitanya mahaprabhu test one sushi gopi ganera prema ruda bhavana mu vishuddha nirmala prema kabuna he kam translation the love of this is called ruda bhavana it is pure and spotless it is not an, at any time thus ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಗೋಪ ರಮಣ ಕಾಮ ಇತಿ ಅಗಮತ್ವತಿ ವಂಚಾಂತಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪ್ರಿಯ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ದ ಪ್ಯೂರ್ ಲವ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಗೋಪೀಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಸೆಲೆಬ್ರೇಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಸ್ಟ್ ದ ಡಿಯೋ ಡಿಯೋಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲಾಂಡ್ ಎಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಉದ್ಧವ ಡಿಸೈಡ್ ಟು ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಲವ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಒನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಕಾಮ ಪ್ರೇಮ ದೋಣಕಾರ ವಿಹಿನ್ನ ಈಕ್ಷಣ ಲವಾರ ಹೇಮ ಐಚ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ವಿಲಕ್ಷಣ ಲಸ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲವ್ ಯಾವ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಐರನ್ ಯಾವ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ನೇಚರ್ಸ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಆತ್ಮೇಂದ್ರಿಯ ಪ್ರೀತಿ ಹರೆ ಬಾಲಿ ಕಾಮ ಕೃಷ್ಣೇಂದ್ರಿಯ ಪ್ರೀತಿ ಇಚ್ಛ ಧಾರಿ ಪ್ರೇಮ ನಾಮ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ the desire to gratify one's own senses is kama the lust but the desire to please the senses of lord krishna is prema the love test 166 kame ratap pare nicha sambhog kevala krishna sukha tatvarya matra premata prabala translation the object of lust is only the enjoyment of one's own senses <coughs> but love scatters to the enjoyment of lord krishna thus it is very powerful test 167 to 169 loka dharma veda dharma deha dharma karma priya sukha atma sukha parma dushta cha arya mata necha parijana swajane karaye adana bhakta san sarva tyag kari kare ಕೃಷ್ಣ they render living service to him for the sake of the test 170 iha ke ka hi e krishna urda andu raga suchya dota vastre yache nahi kon ada ಕಾಮಾಂದ್ರೀಮಾಸ್ಟ್ ಲವ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸನ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ
ಅತೈವ ಗೋಪಿ ಗಣಯೇರ ನಣಿ ಕಾಮ ಗಂಗರ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸುಖ ಐಗ ಮಾತ್ರ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸಿ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಸಾರಿ ಪ್ರಭು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಶೇಷೇ anxiety that your tender feet might be wounded uh, wounded by troubles as you roam about on the forest path test 174 atma sukha dukhe gopira nahi ka vichara krishna sukha hetu chesta mano vyavahar translation the gopis do not care for their own pleasure or pains all their physical and mental activities are directed toward offering enjoyment to lord krishna okay. test 175 krishna lagi ara sava kare paritaga krishna sukha hetu kare shuddha anuraga translation they renounce everything for krishna they have pure attachment to giving krishna pleasure test 176 i think it is the last uh, test uh, for me behind you only to increase your concentration of mind since i disappeared from right. it you should not be with me krishna krishna hare krishna prabhu there is a lot of noise and uh, your Hare. voice is not uh, very clear prabhu so can you come to the mic and uh, others someone also not yes sir i think someone uh, this one on that uh, maybe mute for me somebody this row i'm taking care of that right krishna you can please come closer to the mic ah, okay okay yes ma'am please accept my apologies to all the devotees who are present over in uh, zoom as well as in all the uh, places so it is my <coughs> uh, fortunate that uh, prabhu has given me opportunity to uh, glorify Hare Krishna. Here it is mentioned that uh, the Swarupa Damodara was the confidential uh, matter of Lord Chaitanya because uh, Swarupa Damodara is a very companion uh, with the Lord Chaitanya. He exhibited, uh, the gopis are exhibited uh, uh, Ruda Bhava in Raj Bhumi. The gopis are completely transcendental. and they never think about the mundane sex with the uh, uh with the lord and but it's unadulterated love of godhead because they are having pure love with the godhead in bhakti rasamrata sindhu it mentioned that even though the uddhava they are all the bhujavasi they are directly uh, approaching lord krishna and completely they are uh, they they are completely involved in uh, in the with the lord so that their desire and their senses are not uh, meeting with the, uh, their own senses will not be affected 
So here example is given in uh, test 164, the difference between the sexual love and the pure love. And example is iron and gold. So once the desire is, uh, once the uh, senses of the, you know, his desire is continuing with his, it's called uh, the kama, the lust. And once the desire to please Lord Krishna is called prema. Here clearly understand that the gopis toward Lord Krishna, even the tinge of uh, uh, kama is not there. They are completely uh, eradicated their uh, kama, uh, lust, and they are attached to the Lord with a pure love. So called here, we uh, they given the example, many welfare people are, uh, you know, mundane people, they are doing the welfare activities and uh, some of them doing the national uh, nationalism and uh, religions, uh, welfare, and some of them, uh, they are in the name of uh, popularity and sense enjoyment. So whatever they are doing, the social uh, activity of the material people, it is not considered that uh, it is the love uh, they are pleasing to Lord Krishna. So whatever they are doing, they are doing for their own uh, karmic actions. They are undergo their karmic actions. So the, why Prabhupada had made this uh, ISKCON to live with the ISKCON, uh, he made a seven purposes of the ISKCON to establish the uh, devotees, individual devotees that come up with a pure love, to, love of Godhead. So uh, preaching, Prabhupada has given the most important thing is that preaching is the very essence. So preaching uh, for the uh, uh, fallen souls is very, very important. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also told, Yare Deka Tareka Krishna Upadesh. Those who are seeing, just you preach them. That is the uh, mood of uh, Srila Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Srila Prabhupada. So otherwise, this is kind of made in other way. So that in uh, we have seen uh, many of the society, they are running their uh, spiritual, uh, like uh, sake of the spiritual uh, societies. But they are doing their own karmic, uh, you know, they are doing their welfare activities and other uh, uh, to get, uh, to know and the popularity of the uh, society or own the bodily concept. But here Prabhupada clearly mentioned that our activities should be always pleased to Krishna and uh, to uh, get each and everyone to bring uh, to Krishna concept. That is our uh, main motto. And enjoyments, one's own senses, and plus add with the love, uh, love of Godhead, uh, means enters to Krishna, love, uh, prema, it becomes a powerful. Sarva tyaga kari kari krishna rabayana, krishna sukha hitu kari prema sevana. The gopis are forget everything, even their relatives, punishment, and scolding their uh, completely in pure love. So how the gopis are in Vrindavana? The gopis are very simple living in uh, villages and they are doing all the activities what you uh, know Kanaya Prabhuji is mentioning that even though our mind and our day-to-day -day activities will be with the Krishna consciousness. So here it mentioned in the Srimad Bhagavatam on the uh, uh, text is mentioning that Yadu Ane the milking of milking the cows the gopis how the gopis are daily activity they are milking the cows. Vahan Ane thrashing the uh, grains, mantana, churning the butter, upalepa, simple village, simple village of ladies, leave their floor and walls with the cow dung. Yadona ne, vahana ne, mantana, upalepa, priya, kanka, ardhita, ukshana, marjanado. Prikankana swing the rope that they tie the rope with the trees and they are swinging. Arbarita, gopis take care of the babies. Even the uh, no, gopis are there, they are uh, giving feeding to the babies. Ukshana, mix water with the cow and sprinkle water to the courtyard. And marginado, they clean the floors of the Rundavana. Vartane, Vahane, Mantana, Upalepa, Prikankana, Arbarita, Ukshana, Marjanado. The gopis are dedicatedly uh, doing their household activities. And what they are doing? Gayanti Chaina Monarutta Daya Sri Kanta. Their intelligence is absorbed in the Lord Krishna. Their vice is absorbed in glorifying Lord Krishna while doing all the household activities and always thinking of Lord Krishna. Again, what they are doing? 
ಶ್ರೀಕಾಂಕನ ಅರ್ಭರಿತ ಉಕ್ಷಣ ಮಾರ್ಜನಾದವು ಗಾಯಂತಿ ಚೈನ ಮನೋರತ್ತ ದಯಾ ಶ್ರೀಕಾಂತ ಧನ್ಯ ರುಜಸ್ತ್ರೀಯ ಉರುಕ್ರೋಮ ಚಿತ್ತಯಾಣ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಲ್ಟೆಡ್ ಯಾ ದೋಸ್ಟ್ ಡಿಯೋಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದೃಂದಾವನ ದೇರ್ ಚಿತ್ತ ದ ಕಾನ್ಶಿಯಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟಂಟ್ಲಿ ಓವರ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಫ್ಲೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಸುದೇವ ದೇ ಡೋಂಟ್ ದೇ ಫಾರ್ಗೆಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದೇರ್ ಮೂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದೇ ಫಾರ್ಗೆಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಟ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಡಿವೋ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಅಪ್ರಿಷಿಯೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ರುಜ ಗೋಪೀಸ್ ಸಿ ಹೌ ಹಿಯರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಗೋಪೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ವ್ ವಿತ್ ದೇರ್ ಮೂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ವ್ ವಿತ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಹೋಲ್ಡ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟೀಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ ಬಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ದ ಚಿತ್ತ ಈಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟಂಟ್ಲಿ ಎಂಗೇಜ್ ವಿತ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇನ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಸ್ವಚ್ಛದಾಂತ ವಸ್ತ್ರೆಯ ಚೇನ ಈ ಕೋಣದಾಗ a clean the cloth who has no stain we should prefer to do anything and everything to please lord krishna what is say here bhakti no takur also given the uh, instruct us to connect that mistakenly the idea of giving up renunciation means not away from the duties and relation the body and mind these duties are not sense gratification if they are undertaken in the spirit of service to krishna so what the gopis are doing their mind body and mind body will be there but mind will be always to think of lord krishna here they have mentioned that the four kinds of uh, uh, gopis are there surut friend and saka friend priya saka and priya narma saka and surut friends are there their uh, age is more than krishna and saka friends their age is uh, less than krishna and priya saka that uh, internal potency in the pradharani means priya saka and almost all uh, same ages and priya narma saka it is very dear to lord krishna so it means half the friends so here we understand that the priya sakas and uh, saka friends they all they all are very dear to lord krishna they are running behind the lord uh, behind krishna once in a bundavana uh, agasura the demon agasura he wanted to take away the gopis and lord balrama is there in front of lord balrama balram krishna is started tearing the tears come with a hot hot water coming from the krishna and krishna also having the bhava uh, bhava to uh, he is not tolerate his gopis are uh, going to uh, inside the uh, agasura when krishna is tearing the eyes of the tears it becomes a, a hot that is even though we know that only we are tearing we are, we are only <coughs> behind krishna at the same time krishna is also reciprocating the same thing krishna is also having the attachment towards the devotees once the devotees are very much dear to krishna and who is the very dear near and dear devotee for the uh, krishna uh, for the knowledge of person he is a devatam parampursha he is a supreme person of god for nirakara brahman uh, the devotee of nirakara uh, for him it is a parmonata sukha for the devotee he is a aradhya deva he is a paramoch aradhya deva for the material people then the uh, uh, maya Ma, maya's people it's a very small boy so here uh, we have to understand that krishna is uh, for the devotee is krishna is everything without krishna devotee is never be happy the lust and love are different when lust is like a dense for darkness and love is like a bright sun when bright sun is there definitely the darkness will away from the uh, <coughs> away and also it mentioned that <clears throat> here three aspects of chaitanya mahaprabhu glorifying the devotees the the, the, the devotees the three aspects of uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu uh, is dictating the devotees how to be devotees to practice the devotional service overcoming resistance to bhakti offering resistance towards the devotee obtaining persistent steadiness in practice by serving the lotus feet of the lord our bhakti is adoksha ji so it will become start uh, to practice 
<clears throat> and how to cultivate uh, Bhakti Vinod Thakur is explaining that the four points how to progress in the devotional service. Cultivate to see good quality in others, have the faith that no one is entered, at least to see Krishna's hand in all the situation, but to see Krishna's hand in all the situation, develop the positive attitude to be optimist, plan for Krishna. And everything, transformation or deformation is belongs to, is uh, uh, because of Krishna only. If Krishna need, he will develop. So here, higher taste is that, higher taste, say no to sense gratification. The willing to get Krishna, uh, so sense gratification, we have to say no. <coughs> Here, how the gopis are embracing Lord Krishna. The other Pandit people they may think that uh, Krishna, the gopis are running towards Krishna to get the sense enjoyment. So uh, now this uh, people may say that outside the outside the uh, people, those who are not in the uh, in the mood of devotional service, they may think that Krishna and the gopis, the young girls and very very beautiful girls, they are behind. Krishna, behind Krishna, and they are always satisfying, they are embracing Krishna, but here that bhava is not there, the bhava of uh, love, that lust is not there, it's completely transcendental, that the root of bhava is there. One should not confuse it, so people are getting confusion, so uh, Krishna is having uh, you know, many gopis and he is always surrounding that, he is uh, uh, doing a paramasutha and many things they may do, they may claim. But as a devotee, we have to be understand that Krishna is giving the pleasure of the prema, the transcendental love of Godhead. Uh, Srila Prabhupada is mentioning that the separation of the, de uh, uh, separation of the devotee and Lord Krishna is completely uh, tears, comes with the tears and the bhava is a different Embracing that uh, bhava. Now, if the uh, corona is there, and, uh, many people they are not attending uh, uh, because of the temple all closed, and many people they are missing the need of the, to see the deities of the temple. So that separation we have to get. So when we come to clear, and I have to see the deities, I have to associate with the devotees. We have to be uh, go run here and there uh, to do the most services. That service is. Uh, we'll, uh, uh, that separation mode we have to be uh, we have to get the separation mode Hare Krishna Prabhu I think time is worth Hare Krishna Prabhu Thank you Dhiru Prabhu for a wonderful, uh, wonderful nectar Prabhu it is really amazing a long time we heard from you it is a nice nectar going from to uh, glorification of Lord Chaitanya Prabhu and glories of uh, Rajavasis. So, thank you very much, Prabhu. So, so, we'll, we'll discuss at the end uh, for the questions, if any, uh, from the members. So, I request uh, Varnapati Prabhu, Varnapati Goina Prabhu, to please uh, take over from here. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. My Danwood pronounce and humble obeisances to all the assembled devotees. All glories to Srila Prabhupada and Guru Maharaj. So we are reading from Sri Chaitanya Charitamrit, Adi Lila, Chapter 4, The Confidential Reasons of, for the Appearance of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. I have been allocated eight verses from 177 to 184. I will read the verses, translation, and purpose where available and try to summarize at the end. Text 177 Krishnera Pratigya Eka Acha Purva Heta Ye Echa Bhaje Krishna Tare Bhaje Techa. Translation Lord Krishna has a promise from before to reciprocate with his devotees according to the way they worship him. There is no purport. So next verse, 178. Um, this is from Bhagavad Gita, 411. 
ये यथा माम प्रपद्यंते तामस्ताते भजामी हम मम वर्तमना वर्तंते मनुष्य पार्था सर्वश in whatever way my devotees surrender on to me i reward them accordingly everyone follows my path in all respects o son of katha this purport is very interesting and we shall revisit it the purport itself krishna was never ungrateful to the gopis for as he declares to arjuna in this verse from bhagavad gita 411 He reciprocates with his devotees in proportion to the transcendental loving service they render on to him. Everyone follows the path that leads towards him, but there are different degrees of progress on that path, and the Lord is realized in proportion to one's advancement. The path is one, but the progress in approaching the ultimate goal is different, and therefore the proportion of realization of this goal namely the absolute personality of god is also different the gopis attained the highest goal and lord chaitanya affirmed that there is no method of worshiping god higher than that followed by the gopis text 179 se pratigya bhanga hela gopi ra bhajna tahate pramana krishna shri mukha vancha translation that promise has been broken by the worship of the gopis as lord krishna himself admits there is no purport so next verse text 180 this is from bhagavatam 1032 na prayu aham nirvadhi samuyajam sva sadhu kirtayam vibudhayu कनेक्शन विद मी इज बियॉन्ड रिप्रोच यू हैव वर्शिप मी cutting off all domestic ties which are difficult to break therefore please let your own glory deeds be your compassion the purport from uh, 1032 22 in one sentence in conclusion the gopis became eternally glorious by their behavior in the lord's temporary absence and the mutual love between them and the lord was wonderfully enhanced this is the perfection of krishna and his loving devotees text 181 tabe ye dekhe gopira nija dekhe phir tha sehata krishna ra lagi jane ha nishchita translation now whatever affection we see the gopis show for their own bodies know it for certain to be only for the sake of lord krishna purport the selfless love of godhead exhibited by the gopis cannot have any parallel we should not therefore misunderstand the carefulness of the gopis in their personal decoration the gopis dress themselves as beautifully as possible just to make krishna happy by seeing them they had no ulterior desires they dedicated their bodies and everything they possess to the service of shri krishna taking it for granted that their bodies were meant for his enjoyment they dressed themselves with the understanding that krishna would be happy by seeing and touching them text 182 e dekha kalyun ami krishna samarpana ta tan radhana tan ra eha sambhoga sadhana the gopis think i have offered this body to lord krishna he is honor and it brings him enjoyment there is no purport so next verse e deha darshana sparsha krishna santoshna e lagi kare dehra majana bhushana translation krishna finds joy in seeing and touching this body it is for this reason that they cleanse and decorate their bodies 
there's no purport so next words text 184 nijigam api translation o arjuna there are no great receptacles of deep love for me that the gopis who cleanse and decorate their bodies because they consider them mine. Purport, this verse is spoken by Lord Krishna in the Adi Purana. Hare Krishna. So most of these verses are self-explanatory, I presume. And uh, whatever I could have said, His Grace Divine, they, Divya Gopal Prabhuji has already said it. So I will try to present it in very simple, practical and personal way. Let me summarize in three sentences before try to analyze it further. So in three sentences in a sequence, first Krishna promised in 411 that he reciprocates with devotees as per their own bhava. Second, but Krishna finds him in dismay that he is unable to reciprocate with Gopi's, Gopi's selfless love. Third, level is so high that Gopis take care of their physical bodies as an offering to Krishna and not for themselves. So this is the point not to be misunderstood. And I guess this was the reason why we left this chapter in the mid and went further and came back now. So as I said, being self-explanatory, I just try to summarize in those three simple sentences. Now, if you try to analyze a bit further, having said that Gopi's love and devotion is unparalleled and is the highest it can get between Krishna and devotees relationship. Now, as a devotee, for us, Krishna Prema is the ultimate goal. That's what we are aiming for. And we could get even fraction of Krishna Prema as gopis, then we will, for us, it will be like a dream come true. And for some of the devotees, they have proved this, like Dhruv Maharaj, Maharaj Prakshit, Amrish Maharaj, they all had the kingdoms, they were the rulers, but not for their sense gratification, but due to Lord's order or acceptance or for their pleasure. There is a lecture by His Grace uh, Radha Sham Prabhuji from Pune Temple on the title, How to Make Your Devotion Spatial. So maybe on the way to Gopi's devotion. So in more than one and a half hours lecture, he mainly focused on quality chanting and how quality chanting gives us five gifts. And briefly, Prabhuji touched it between Shraddha and Krishna Prema. So chanting is the most important because chanting will purify our heart and then only scriptures will enter our heart. So five gifts, gifts Prabhuji mentioned. The first one, Shraddha. So there will be a Shraddha in Nama, in Seva, in Bhakti. So everybody will become serious. Second is Tripti, satisfaction. So there won't be any greed left. There will always be a smile on the face. Third is Shakti, physical and mental strength, like lotus, doesn't get affected even in the bad and nasty circumstances. Fourth is Ruchi, interest. We love to read, we love to hear. Not movies, not cricket, but transcendental related to Krishna. Fifth, Krishna Prema. Just like Brajva says, Gopiya Jesse, and feel the separation, Viraha Bhava, like Yashoda, who always used to wait for Krishna to come back. Now, from Shraddha to Krishna Prema, and if we say Krishna Prema is the ultimate, let's just try to get a bit further into it. Now, what is Krishna Prema? Two examples could illustrate it. First is, of course, gopis. But gopis in the birth, 
they are not only the female there for every living creature in association with krishna and the braj are over gopis for example cows and calves because of which krishna is famously known as govinda now there is a mention that if a cow eating grass would hear the flute of krishna then the cow will stop then and there with the food with the grass in the mouth on hearing krishna's flute now imagine if we will have gulab jamun or rasgulla in our mouth will we stop well usually it's the other way around we wait for the lectures and kirtans to finish so we could start prashadam and that's the difference where we are and where gopis were and how far how long this journey is towards devotion and the second is evident in how we chant so how we should chant an analogy for better understandings of a person who has fallen in the well and now shouting for help many people say that we find it hard to concentrate while chanting but if you are that person in a well shouting for help do you think you will get distracted i doubt as the priority will be shouting as loud as possible to get out of the well we will not think how many runs indian cricket team has made or what mata ji has made in today's prashadam our focus will be on shouting because we are separated and that should be that should be our bhava while we chant it and when we will able to do it maybe that's what krish prema reflects now braj go please have that love for krishna and those whose minds get distracted while chanting might be try to fake it with a hope to make it one day including myself of course and just like you i hope too that i will become the object of krishna's causeless mercy when the time will come now i have asked earlier about the yardsticks on the path of devotion and that's why i said one of the purport that is very interesting because it does mention the degrees of the devotion and uh, i just like to monitor my progress i think unless we can uh, monitor the progress if you can't measure it then we can't succeed of course we are of, we have to rely on the causeless mercy of the lord anyways but we do need to have our sadhana uphill so keeping myself on track and therefore i have come up of my own yardsticks and i would love to share with you feel free to correct me if i'm wrong and the whole purpose of sharing is to purify myself and clarify my understanding so now there are three checks we can do to measure what degree of devotion we have and i'm talking more of quant quality rather than quantity so the first one is the fearlessness and prabhu ji mentioned a bit on that and just to build up on that that how fearless we are we should able to tell how far we are on devotion path so gopis were not afraid of anything what do i mean by fearless is the trust on krishna and whatever krishna throws us in terms of circumstances in light of current circumstances around it is that trust which a newborn baby has when a father throws the baby in the air and due to gravity even when child is free falling but smiling that trust that's fearlessness do we have that on krishna it's easy to be fearless in the absence of calamity but real test is always when we are face to face with calamities and of course there are three types of adi bhotik adi devik and adhyatmik and we are dealing with one of that at the moment now prabhu ji mentioned dasya dasya could be dependent and the example the analogy of the child is based on that dependent dasya bhav 
we need to have in Krishna. If we, if we are servant of Krishna, then we, if we have the trust on Lord, then we should be fearless. What for? If we know, and we certainly do know, that Krishna is Bhagwan, and all the opulences are there, then what for? What the fear for? Krishna didn't speak Gita in the court or any consultancy room. It was right in the middle of the biggest battle this planet has ever seen in terms of magnitude. And after hearing Gita, Arjun didn't say, let's go home in self-isolation. And don't get me wrong, I'm not against self-isolation. But if we are getting fearful, then we should rethink and recaliber our degree of devotion. Take Bhagavatam. Parikshit Maharaj was left with seven days and nights before his death. And we feel like end of the world when we get 30 days of redundancy notice. Braj Gopis are on the top level because of their trust on Krishna. Fearlessness. You might recall Udhav Gita, which is a testimony of it. So the first is fearlessness. And second is Satya Chitta Ananda. Absolute truth. Supreme personality of Godhead is realized in three different aspects. Brahman, Paramatma, and ultimate supreme personality of Godhead, Bhagwan, Krishna. So if the aim is to go back to Godhead, which is to reach Bhagwan, Krishna, then I hope it makes sense that before we would reach to Bhagwan, we would have realized the first two aspects, Brahman and Paramatma. I hope everybody has heard of these two analogies. Brahman is the sound of the approaching train, while the sight of the train is Paramatma, and the train itself is Bhagwan, Krishna. So is it possible for somebody to get in the train, realizing Bhagwan without hearing and having the sights of the train? Maybe not. Second, similarly, sunlight is Brahman, sun disk is Paramatma, and sun itself is Bhagwan, Krishna. Now, could we reach to the sun without experiencing sunlight and noticing sun disk? Maybe not. Well, I hope nobody will say, yes, it's possible if you will go in night. So with that logic, before we will reach to the Godhead or ultimate goal, Krishna Prema, we would have realized Brahman and Brahmatma. Now this word realized itself is very enlightening. And uh, I wouldn't go into detail because I hope everybody is realized here. So when gopis miss Krishna, it's heartfelt realization and not that because senior Vaishnavas has said that we should miss Krishna while chanting. Hence, we are also feeling or pretending to be feeling that separation. It's the real separation which gopis used to miss. Now I appreciate the time just take a few more minutes and I will finish up. Therefore, coming back to the point of Satyachit Anand, before we reach sun, we got to have seen sunshine. I, we should have realized Brahman. And as Krishna said in chapter 14, text 27, as I'm the basis of the impersonal Brahman, which is immortal, imperishable and eternal, and is the constitutional position of ultimate happiness. So if we are aiming for the highest level of devotion, Krishna Prema, what gopis have, then we would first need to reach to the level of Satya Chaitananda. It will automatically come. We don't have to work towards it. However, of course, Krishna can always exempt anyone from that and can deliver any time. So we are discussing general concept, not the exception. So as devotees, we are fearless and second, we got to be happy. And the third one, and this is a bit sensitive and emotional point, but if I can't share in this group of elevated devotees, I don't know where else. And uh, it's how we react when a family member is sick, which is evident these days, or gets admitted into hospital. Many of us seek other devotees' prayers, which is great as uh, Vaishnava's prayers can deliver us. But what do we seek prayers for? And what other devotees pray for? 
I have realized recently, and unfortunately more often recently, that devotees pray to get the family members recover. Now, you might be thinking that's what's wrong in it, but I would just like to bring the attention to the basics. Bhagavad Gita, verse 2, 11. When Supreme Personality of God had said, while speaking learned words, you are mourning for what is not worthy of grief. Those who are wise lament neither for the living nor for the dead. This is in light of what Krishna is explaining to Arjuna in the beginning of chapter 2, that we are not this body, but the soul. So if we are seeking prayers to recover the body of a love and dear ones, then it might and could fall into the category of material attachment. Parikshit Maharaj asked Sukhdev Swamiji two questions in first canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. What is the duty of people in general? And what is the duty of a dying man? And Srila Prabhupada said the second is more important question. And we all know that Sukhdev Swamiji didn't say that prayer for the recovery of the body of the dying person. Now we have heard that there is only one thing which a devotee can do wrong, and that is Vaishnava path. But I would say there are two. And easy to remember, out of 10 offenses, first one and the last one. The first one is committing offenses. When somebody is very proud, arrogant, speak harshly. And the second one is material attachment. Tenth offense is too soft, stuck in material attachment, attached with loved ones on bodily conception. Now we know very well how Jarbhat Maharaj got attached to a deer. And that deer is the form of attachment. And for us, it could be our elderly parents or dependent young children. We do have responsibility to support them while we can, but they shouldn't become our deer. They shouldn't become our material attachment. Now, if somebody asking for the recovery of a body of a relative, then that could be classed as material attachment. Krishna asked Arjuna in Bhagavad Gita to be equiposed while performing duties. That's in 2.48. So, Pardukha Dukhi devotees could chant or ask others to chant for all those who are sick globally or dying. But asking for the prayers of a specific relative to recover could be a sign of material attachment. Makes more sense when devotees chant for somebody departing the body as those extra rounds are not for the body but for the soul. Something to discuss, I guess. Now I would like to pose a question to everyone. I give you two options. You get, so the first option, you get all your desires fulfilled materially. Live as long as you would like to, like Ayati, get everything sorted, whatever you would like. And then right at the end, go back to Gokuldam, go back to Godhead. Do you need to listen to the second one? First option is best as it could get, what isn't it? One? Sorry, Prabhuji. First one is accepted, Prabhu. Thank yes. you so much. <laughs> I agree, Prabhuji. I agree. That's how I said. I don't think anybody needs to listen to the second one. But Prabhuji's second one is that we go to back Godhead right now. And before we put our hand on heart and say, yes, we would like to. Remember, we have many witnesses. As Krishna promised in 4.11, Krishna will reply. And when we say right now, that means right now. So this call will drop and we will go back to Godhead right now. Do we want to? Because while we are in the well and we are shouting, there's no other business. Nobody will say, let me enjoy here in the well and then I will come. Because that separation, the mood of gopis, there's nothing else. Now, for Krishna's love, gopis in Braj, they did it. They surrendered to Krishna without clothes, 
they left their Brahmin husbands performing yajyas to be with Krishna in the jungle. And it's evident in uh, Ras Leela in the night. Imagine if gopis would have said, Krishna, please wait. Let us satisfy our husbands first. Let them get engaged in TV or WhatsApp and then we will come. Nah, they wouldn't have said it. And they didn't. So for us, there's a long way to go. And I would say on the path of devotion and Krishna Prema like gopis, we should be able to become fearful, so fearless. Satachit Ananda, we need to be happy. We should be happy. And we should detach from material attachments. It doesn't matter how close, how loving, near and dear once they are. And there's a misconception that Ajamil took the name of Narayana at the end and got liberated. He actually witnessed the conversation between Vishnu Dhut and Yamadut. Then he did three things. He contemplates, he reflected, he took action and then got delivered. So we should also understand the importance of contemplation, reflection and finally the action. Now this action is not that where we say, okay, because we have done the action, we like the fruits as well. No, because we know that it got to be the causeless mercy of the devotees and eventually the Lord. So with that, there could be a lot said, but I appreciate the timing and my apologies, I've overrun a bit, but I was requested not to speak fast. Could be my weird accent, but that's why I had intentionally slowed myself down. And uh, please correct me if I'm wrong anywhere and consider me as a devil's advocate. I'm the black sheep in the group who always challenge the status quo. I hope I have presented my understanding submissively and respectively. Hare Krishna. Over to you, Prabhuji. Hare well, Prabhu. Wonderful, wonderful points. Uh, so many uh, stop writing at some stage. Uh, the, the essence of uh, the whole uh, session by His Grace Varanapati Govinda Prabhu is uh, the most touching point, the take-home message for the week is a shouting for the help when we are in the well. It's an amazing point. Too. So that moment, we will not think of anything else. As Prabhu said, what is the score of you know, Indian team? What uh, Prashad today? Nothing is important. Unless we reach to that stage of, uh, of our sadhana, a devotional service. Doing devotional service as a shouting for help because we are in the big well of material world. So nothing should be important for us. Not that nothing is important, but as I said, nothing should be important for us. But unfortunately, we have so many priorities so many priorities, if you start writing a list, it is you know, never ending. So, thank you very much, Tru. It is a wonderful point for us to meditate upon uh, so that we know why we are chanting. Not just because we remain in the Shraddha stage. We have to you know, slowly progress from Shraddha to Prema. Not that uh, Prema is something which artificially can be bought, artificially can be imitated. But uh, when we follow the steps involved in uh, instructions of spiritual master, so we don't have to do anything artificially. Anything with our effort except being into Krishna consciousness in the association of devotees. So rest all the season immediately after Shraddha comes Sadhu Sangha. So rest all will happen by its own when we have Shraddha and in the association of devotees. The Bhajana Kriya, everything will happen 
by itself we don't have to separately okay today i want to uh, eliminate pyranthas so tomorrow i will uh, focus on next step no it actually the process the process we don't even realize that we reach to the stage where we intend to be so is a nice point prabhu uh, prabhu you maybe i missed it to write or uh, the three yardsticks you were mentioning only first one i wrote fearlessness prabhu ji not the obstacles as such but yardsticks as said no, yardsticks. how yes yeah. how how we could um, the degree of devotions we have the, on the path of devotion so i said we got to be fear if if you are fearful then obviously we can think so yes fearlessness yep. second i yep. said uh, satchit ananda that we got to be happy yes mm -hmm. okay thank you prabhu thank you once Hare. again this uh, is amazing session by his grace divagopu prabhu and also by his grace varunapati govinda prabhu so it is really uh, a session which we need to meditate upon every day during our sadhana so with this uh, is there any questions comments by the devotees before we wind up yes prabhu ji hare krishna prabhu i have one question prabhu yes prabhu this is addressed to uh, divago prabhu or uh, varnapati prabhu both both that is uh, of course you yeah, both uh, like um, yeah first of all uh, thanks to both of the devotees so nectarian uh, it was but like in the current prevailing conditions of corona now how the fearfulness is the devotees uh, means because it, and my first question is is it necessary that in if we are in the gopi bhav only we can go back to krishna that is the first question and the second is like in the current scenario of corona how the devotees means definitely i am fearful maybe i am not a pure devotee but i am fearful so can you enlighten how to tackle this i request vanapati prabhu to take up this then i'll uh, try to add uh, my points if time permits vanapati prabhu Sh sure prabhu ji so prabhu ji if the question is that uh, well two things i understood you are asking one the do how we could be fearless and the second is is it only that bhava if we don't have that bhava no prabhu ji krishna could do the mercy obviously agasur went back to krishna krishna delivered him as well he didn't have that bhava and uh, of course there are so many other demons no we are not the demons we are the devotees or we like to be one so no we don't need to be but that's the aim we are aiming for and on the journey wherever krishna could pick us senior devotees could bless us we could be delivered but now what for we are feared is it the body is it the soul the only thing missing for us what i believe is the realization in the beginning of chapter 2 where, where krishna says to arjuna that you are the soul you are not the body now what corona virus how corona virus is going to affect your soul is it not the body which is going to get affected is it not only the bodies of the family members which is going to get affected and krishna has already made it so clear that nothing could happen to the soul the wind cannot wither it the water cannot make it wet no weapon can cut it didn't mention corona virus explicitly but nothing can happen to the soul so the only thing which is missing is that realization that we are soul we are not the body what corona virus could do it could uh, affect our body limb we might have to impute or worse come to shove we might die or we have taken birth many times before but the good part is i think this is one of the best thing we are in isolation we could spend time listening chanting and if we could go we could die we could leave our body during chanting during listening taking the name of krishna what else could be better than that so that's how i would say that's it's not that hard to be fearless but obviously we just need to have that realization with us i hope i answered your question prabhu ji hari bol thank you prabhu so just to add one more point to that is uh, 
uh, we are meditating on uh, coronavirus uh, last uh, a few months uh, of course this is a problem which definitely it's a matter of concern but when we understand that uh, we are the place where the problems are inevitable today it may be coronavirus tomorrow it can be something else so how long we continue to meditate upon these temporary problems like uh, i was telling in last one of the classes that uh, um, we had uh, abc uh, diseases or viruses a for aids b for bird flu c for corona but we are missing the d virus which are which is a delusion for which lord chitma prabhu has come so that is the main problem which we have to meditate upon it's not that we should be careless um in uh, handling other problems but meditate upon those problems is not going to help us in any way just meditate upon that we have to take care uh, as prabhu was mentioning uh, a point that prayer for the recovery of a dear ones actually uh, i wanted to add one point there that propad always says that uh, recovery of a self or a dear ones um praying lord is nothing wrong as long as we pray lord that if that is going to help if if that is what lord wants if krishna willing so please recover so that we can uh, do our devotional service continue to do our devotional service not just for the sake of um, recovery and continue to be in uh, sense enjoyment in this material world so either coronavirus or some other virus some other disease these are all in inherent in uh, in this material world so we should not get stuck at meditating meditating on only these problems because we have bigger problems to meditate so this prabhu i think your question was clarified by prabhu thank you prabhu and also uh, just to, i don't know time Uh, like uh, you said like chanting uh, extra means how should be the like we should chant in the mood of separation so can you enlighten prabhu, prabhu how to do that prabhu that actually will uh, come on its own as i said in the mood of separation is not something which we artificially uh, practice artificially do that but uh, it comes as i said right from shraddha to prema stage is prema stage is something which when we uh, how uh, when we do our devotion service in the mood of separation we would be reaching that stage it doesn't mean that we have to uh, artificially you no know, think that okay i am uh, so i am away from krishna so trying to uh, bring out some tears from uh, uh, eyes so no that is uh, is not going to help um, in fact that is going to be very much uh, more worse situation so when we systematically follow the steps involved in uh, the devotion service as uh, prabhu is also mentioning starting from shraddha uh, to uh, sadhu sangha and anarthani it automatically happens it, it it happens automatically we don't have to you uh, know aim for that but the ultimate stage is what uh, i was uh, trying to highlight so when we chant eventually in the mood of uh, separation from krishna so it means that we are in the right path ex prabhu was mentioning uh, fearlessness um, is uh, one of the the major yardstick like uh, how we react when the problem comes in our life uh, the problem can be anything it can be corona it can be anything else anything any other problem how we react is a yardstick in our progression in uh, krishna consciousness are we progressing krishna consciousness yes no depends on how we react to the situation so when we uh, not reacting when we are fearlessness it means that we are depending on krishna so it means that we are uh, feeling for krishna so when we chant we chant for krishna we chant in separation from krishna like uh, what chedma prabhu uh, has given in sikshastakam uh so when will i reach that stage is what chitma prabhu is questioning uh, himself so that is a stage is an ultimate stage what i am trying to say that not that we 
have to artificially try for that. But it happens when we follow systematically the steps involved. In, uh, but we have to develop one th point is very clear. We have to develop the mood that you know we are depending on Krishna. Krishna is always there to protect us. As Prabhu has mentioned, so we Krishna will uh, reciprocate for sure. When we have that faith, um, then we reach to that stage. I hope I'm clear, Prabhu. Thank you very much, Prabhu. Thank you to both. Thank you, Prabhu. I know the time is up, but uh, those who want to leave, they can, uh, since we have uh, off anyway. Uh, so, Nikhil Prabhu has some question to. Thank you, Prabhu. Just one realization. Uh, first of all, thanks so much to Varnapati Govindas Prabhuji and Devagwal Prabhuji. Wonderful class today. Really enjoyed it. Uh, the two questions that Varnapati uh, you know, Govindas Prabhuji asked, the choices rather, uh, now, just one realization I wanted to share that uh, we don't have to depend on death to liberate ourselves from our imperfections. You know, We will be exactly the same after death as we were before. Nothing changes. We only give up this body. You know, If I am a liar or a thief or a cheater before death, I will not become an angel merely by dying. So if it's so possible, let us all go and jump at the ocean now and become, you know, an angel at once. This is not going to happen. Whatever you are made of yourself thus far, so will you be hereafter. And when you reincarnate, you know, take another birth or something, you will bring out that same nature with you. Therefore, to change, we have to make the effort and this world, this janam or, you know, the realization, this is the place for it. With this, you know, I just wanted to add up what he said. Wonderful sessions today. Thank you so much. Thank you, Prabhu. Uh, I think Karl Chakra Krishna Prabhu want to add some uh, point to the nectar. Karl Chakra Krishna Prabhu. Krishna. Prabhu, you are there? Karl Chakra Prabhu? Your audio is mute. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm muted. Sorry, I, I didn't realize it. Hare Krishna, you able to hear me now? Yes, bro. Yeah, I, I think it it it, it was uh, it was really nice to hear, but not the people. Uh, I, I mean, even as he was answering some questions, I mean, I just uh, uh, thought a couple of things, you know, fearlessness part, and the other one, I think, when he says that you know, we are not the body, you know. I just coming back uh, to the to another verse in the Bhagavad Gita where uh, the the soul and the body they compare to dresses, right? And then uh, we, we just like to change a dress. Now it's it's quite common for us to see a person change a dress, but the I mean uh, and and uh, we know that okay the dress has changed the body is still there, but it is not common or we have never seen it where. A, the person he has changed his body. I mean, oh, I am able to see his soul. And uh, the fear, I think, maybe after a certain age or after a certain time, we don't fear much for ourselves. We fear a lot for our own dear ones. So that is because we have not seen them. I mean, we have, I mean okay, it's all, uh, there's a lot of theory in this about, like, you know, okay, we are being the soul. But we are being dishonest when we just simply, simply just say that, you know. Uh, the thing is, the amount of fear. Now, the thing is to add to add to this. Uh, 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 what do you say? The misery. I mean, you cannot say that. Oh, that you are fearful. That means you are not a devotee. I mean, the uh, thinners now saying that. No, the thing is, here, see, in this, uh, in this, in this body, in this situation that we are in, these things are natural. I mean, uh, just like. When we when we fall down or um, or when there is a when we get hurt, the body has a certain mechanism, certain defense mechanisms come in. Uh, or when when we face a, a particular danger, there is a certain agitation within us. You know, it is. It, it, it doesn't mean that oh, because you are chanting, oh, that you should not, you shouldn't have this agitation. No, I think. It, it, it is quite common. It is it is it is natural to have this agitation, and but yes, we need to keep that. Uh, we need to we need to understand that 
look, this is the situation. We had to make good of a bad situation, and this is how things are going to be. So it, it's quite tough, but I think uh, that that's the only way to surmount this. I mean, otherwise it becomes it is, it is just theoretical. I mean, uh, and uh, we we can mouth, we can keep saying this a lot, but internally it doesn't give us that solace or uh, uh, it doesn't really solve things. But still, yes, good. Uh, the, the the idea is is appreciated. I mean, that's what I want to want to tell them and touch upon. Thank you, Hari Krishna. Um, Prabhuji, could I add a few things to it? A couple of yes, sir. Please, yes. Please. So uh, thank you so much, Prabhuji, as you said. So yes, uh, there is a verse there for the dresses, and I would say that's right that we could see somebody changing dresses, but we can't see somebody changing the body. But we do see others leaving the body. And that's, and if you will see, especially I remember my father-in-law went a few years back and I was there in a graveyard, in not a graveyard, in what we call uh, cremation ground in India. And uh, you would see most of the people will be in a state of uh, enlightenment there. Everybody will be saying, oh, everybody going to go and all, because the atmosphere is like that. Material attachments will kind of disappear then and there. So we see our own body changing from child to adult, boyhood to adulthood, and then when we uh, get old. And similarly, we see our older senior guys going slowly, slowly, slowly. And that's why you will see the attachment with the child. If a child leaves the body for some reason, then we get more lament. And if a senior old person leaves, we don't that much. Why? Because we have seen that body grown and dying gradually, slowly, slowly. But yes, I agree that it doesn't happen instantaneously. That got to be realized, but it's possible. And uh, as you said, the dishonesty, I think uh, it's dishonest if we get attached to the material body. And yes, gradually it's possible. It's when a near and dear one will die, we could still be in pain, but there's no need to lament. And I think as long as we remember those two things, the pain is there because we have lost somebody, but we, we don't need to lament for it. That's it, Prabhuji. I think there's a next question we can take. Thank you, Prabhu. So this give, brings actually one point that uh, miseries in this material world cannot be avoided, but sufferings uh, can be. So sufferings uh, is an optional. Miseries is, uh, you know, it cannot be avoided. So the pain, yes, is there. As Prabhu rightly said, the lamentation is something which you need to. This actually, yesterday I was hearing one um, uh, lecture. They say exactly what the point, what we're discussing. Uh, as long as we are in the place of calamities, there has to be calamities. In the sense, we are in the place of in the material world, so there has to be calamities. It is like an example was given is suppose you are residing in a house where the drainage is leaking, the whole house is uh, flooded with uh, the drainage and there's nothing you can do. That uh, in the sense you cannot uh, repair it, you cannot do anything because that is how the whole uh, drainage system was made in that house. So artificially, if you try to use perfumes to you know, uh, want to continue to stay there, so this is only temporary. So what is the best option for us is only to get out of that place. So that exactly what we are discussing getting out of this material world is is uh, an option uh, uh, by following not not uh, by doing it out following an artificial process but to end this process of jannamurti jara vihadi uh, is taking up devotional service sincerely and in the footsteps of uh, uh, devotees is what actually we are trying to discuss so Though we exceeded time, still uh, um, those who can, can continue to stay for a few more minutes because um, we have a couple of more devotees who raise their hands. And before that, I uh, just want to say add that next week we are going to have a session, one, one more wonderful session by His Grace Baldev Prabhu. He is from uh, Chopati Temple. Uh, Prabhu visited uh, Mathradesh uh, some time ago. So Prabhu has kindly agreed to give us, share the nectar of uh, Chaitanya Leela to all of us. So next week also don't miss. 
so now we go on to darshan prabhu and arangmanjir mataji who are takes uh, slot first uh, prabhu i just added word of caution in this one see that uh, fearlessness is comes from the trust as well but fearlessness is another one problem is there fearlessness has a word of caution we should not pretend of course we have a fearness we should be caution about that yes so trust is there trust comes with the faith same time trust comes when we do not have our attachment to the results but we don't have a result attachment we should have a karma we should do our our activity we should like it 2.47 has been told in the krishna that if you should not you should know the karma uh, result is not your portfolio but it doesn't means you stay with the sangha akarmaniya you should in the sangha so akarmaniya should not be akarmaniya so thing is that we should have a word of caution here fearlessness is there but pretending should not be there if you pretend that i am fearless when i am not there then it will be difficult so judging this is little difficult it needs time to know second portfolio which is karma is in our hand we should do caution should precaution should be done if you not do will not have a proper result because we have to do our 100% action our activity which has been allotted us that with the time with the material situations we should follow that one and we should do the love we should do prayer the krishna also for their recovery for their uh, uh, best reason whatever because we pray in krishna that now this we are hand only praying the decision what he will give it depend on the krishna he wants to cure let him cure he wants to take him away let him take him this well it's not our decision we just praying krishna is our our prayers it depends on the krishna because we are not forcing him prayer and force is a different we are not asking him we are just praying him krishna do whatever you do want to do best with us two third thing i will mention that body is a vehicle to complete our journey our journey from here to go back to god it law rupa das told body is a vehicle you take care of body nicely so you can complete your journey nicely that's all hari bol thank you so much prabhu ji thank you prabhu thank you very much mata ji have prabhu, some point to share yeah. yeah yeah hari krishna prabhu uh, prabhu as uh, today's discussion we are the body we are not the soul uh, everything is okay but my concern is when a devotee like in this situation like in this corona virus situation when a devotee leaves his body when he suffers a lot and leaving his body so is it possible to take uh, is it possible to remember krishna at that time that is the most important thing while giving up the body you should remember krishna so i am concerned it is it possible in this situation when the a devotee is too much suffering because of his body so is it possible for him to take krishna's name what is your question is your question is that uh, um, when we are leaving the body we will be able to remember the lord uh, in a miserable condition is that what you are trying to ask yes yeah yeah prabhu i mean when the body is getting too much suffering okay sometimes it happens that it is not even though we, are, we know that krishna is our supreme lord even though i am a devotee i know the relation between me and krishna what is the relation but when the suffering comes when the pain comes that time it is most difficult for to take krishna's name to remember krishna's name so in this way i am a little bit concerned prabhu mate that all depends on the practice So how to Sorry. it is like uh, as we know yeah, that's um, unless we practice throughout the year child cannot uh, remember the answer and write in the examination so examination is a tough it can be tough uh, it can be easy so when it, it is uh, examination is a tough still we should be able to remember like uh, in, in a, but in extreme situations uh, when we are not uh, in conscious that moment krishna will forcefully come into our thoughts and this is what acharya should told that uh, when suppose we are in a coma or something like that and so lord comes into our uh, consciousness and we uh, will be able to remember but uh, remembering in the time of miseries that all depends on uh, 
the practice uh, what we do uh, throughout the life it is it is not an artificial remembrance but uh, when we depend completely on krishna uh, whether it is in good or bad so we will automatically remember we don't have to do any artificial uh, try artificially to remember so it happens automatically and mata ji knowing you personally for so long uh, have seen your sadhana i think uh, we could easily reassure you yes you will definitely remember don't worry mata ji prabhu <laughs> devotees <laughs> mercy hari hari thank you prabhu so thank you very much all the devotees for patiently uh, being there for, uh, almost 1 hour 40 minutes it is like very very yeah yeah prabhu yesterday is like uh, prabhu was traveling the faith and fearlessness bring the tolerance also so we should tolerate the problem we tolerate the problem that is the more important than being a, uh, that's the main thing will bring that shraddha or fearlessness bring the tolerance tolerance to the very true prabhu prabhu, prabhu hari krishna prabhu this is bima chandra and pranam prabhu hari krishna and pranam prabhu this is a prabhu shila prabhupad is a best example for us and uh, prabhupad has shown that he had a three times two times heart attack while journey traveling so he did not worry. he did what his practice and is a best answer our practice is do everything you should not expect more from krishna anything he is ultimately decider and we are not the decider and we our duty has to do ourselves that's all whether the uh, everyone as as a human being taken as a babar uh, uh, we have to undergo uh, a lot of uh, suffering throughout our journey but there is a solutions each and everything at the same time as a devotee of lord krishna we have to do for form our regular sadhana bhakti when you do for regular sadhana mate bhakti automatically it is all goes nullifies and then we can remember at last uh, to remember lord krishna and the only thing is as to ramananda kane prabhu said that a practice is most important in our life whatever the end of in the material life hari krishna thank you prabhu thank you for adding uh, flavor to the discussion it's very important so with the permission of all the devotees would like to end the session uh, here thank you very much once again for all the devotees for actually participating and especially my pranams to uh, grace divo gopal prabhu and varnapati prabhu for bringing out the nectar uh, from chetan charitamrita uh, so we'll stop here any questions comments we can share further in the group and continue next week uh, with the uh, is grace balde prabhu joining us from chopati temple thank you hare krishna thank you very much prabhu hare krishna